Today I'm going to show you one of these uh, uh, bridge rectifiers and uh, how to convert AC uh, to DC. Uh, also going to play with the capacitor. Uh, this is the LED light that I'm going to use and I'm going to show you what's going on with it. And this is our source. So this is a transformer. As you can see output is 12 volts 1.5 milliamps but it's 12 volts AC. I don't know how good a camera focuses but it's 12 volts AC. So this is alternating current. Alternating current, you can make an LED light work because alternating current, it fluctuates um, from positive to negative basically. So it's, it's just a wave. What you have to do is you need one of these bridge rectifiers. You find these bridge rectifiers, they have four pins. Um, one is positive, uh, usually the opposite of the positive is negative. And then you have the alternating current coming in. So white and green is alternating current and black and red is positive and negative. So what you have to do, you connect uh, the white and green to your source. It doesn't matter in what order because it's alternating, so we'll make it same, exactly the same current. And what this one will filter it and it will make it all uh, DC, so we'll make it uh, it doesn't fluctuate. And then we're going to hook up the LED uh, to get it to the system. So red and then the LED light is white, but the other one is black, but it's the same, so that's the negative. So we're going to put the negative together. Okay. So right now, we are going through the bridge rectifier, right? So the rectifier is on, and then this is the LED light. It's already getting power, as you can see. And I'm going to show you something that is very, very important. I want you to listen very, very close to it. So it will turn on. So it definitely turns on, but it makes a buzzing noise. Can you hear it? I'm going to try to see if I could um, put it right next to the camera. Yeah, so that's the buzzing noise. Why? Even though this current is rectified right now, it's not filtered. So what happens is that even this light, if you can look at it, you can see it flickering. So why is it flickering? Is because the, the wave is still traveling uh, at 50 hertz or whatever the, the power is. So that's why we're using a, that's what we're going to use a capacitor for. So uh, this capacitor, what, it, what, it, what its job is, is to filter that, uh, that power out. So here where we have the, the bridge rectifier, you attach the capacitor. So red is going to go with red. And then we're going to attach the blue, in this case, which is the negative lead on this capacitor. So the capacitor has a negative lead over here and has a positive lead over here. And now if we're trying the same exact experiment, as you can see, there is no more flickering. I'm not sure if this camera actually caught the flickering because maybe sometimes the flickering synchronizes with the uh, camera of, uh, hertz so you can't really see it. But right now, this power is clean. So what this capacitor is doing, it's, it's charging and discharging really, really fast. So every time you have the wave going down and up and down, the capacitor charges and it keeps the charge on while the, the, the transformer is still putting power into it. So basically what it does, it filters the entire power for this light so the, the light doesn't make that buzzing noise. And as you can see, it's, it's nice and clear and it goes all, all three speeds. So That's how a bridge uh, rectifier works. So if you have a motorcycle, which I do in my case, I have a WR450. Um, in my case, I had to install one of these because uh, I, I was getting for the LED light uh, in the front, I, I had AC, I had alternating current and I needed um, direct current, DC. Uh, this one will rectify the current and also I had to install two of these capacitors because the 40 watt uh, light that I have um, needed the, that power to be able to um, take the flicker out of the light. So, Well, that's, uh, that's the game that we play today with the bridge rectifiers. Um, I hope you understood how this particular system works. If you have any questions, uh, you want to write me some comments in the video description. Uh, I do have a more advanced version where this capacitor is uh, connected with a diode because right now, the way that I made the circuit right now, this capacitor is actually discharging back into this rectifier and you don't want that. You want the, the, the energy from this capacitor only to go in here. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a diode to the entire system so you will be able to um, keep the capacitor charged all the time.